Welcome back to the classical universe. Today, we are going to be looking at the theories of spatial and general relativity and show that they contradict each other at the fundamental level. We are going to achieve this without any math at all, just simple logic. Let's start with general relativity, the principle of equivalence. The principle of equivalence states that it is impossible for anyone to tell the difference between accelerating at a constant acceleration in free space and standing still in a uniform gravitational field. As a consequence of this, it was concluded that space curves around massive objects. Consider an observer in a spaceship deep in space. When the ship starts moving forward with a constant acceleration, he shines his torch light horizontally. According to him, even though the light is going straight, the ship is accelerating closer and closer to him, and as a result, the trajectory of the light, according to him, curves. Now, let's take a look at what an observer who is stationary according to the ship will see. As the ship moves up, the stationary observer sees the light go through in a horizontal straight line. Let's rotate this frame 90 degrees such that the ship is now moving to the left. And play this again. Now we see that the light curves to the right. This is true because in deep space we cannot tell which way is up and which way is right. Therefore, the observer in the ship, whom I call the moving observer, sees the light curves to the right. He is probably lying down now instead of standing, for it doesn't matter, the principle is still the same. Now, what does the stationary observer see? He will definitely still see the light follow a straight line. Notice that the direction of motion of the ship, which is the same as that of the moving observer, the direction in which the light was shown, and the line of sight of the stationary observer are all at 90 degrees to each other. So, if we rotate the frame 90 degrees, this is what we get. That is, the motion of the moving observer changes from up to left, right to up for the light, while the line of sight of the stationary observer remains the same. Now let's compact everything. This is our stationary observer. This is our frame when moving upwards. And this is our frame when moving sideways. For both cases, dotted lines represent the path of the light as seen by the stationary observer, while the bold lines represent the path of the light as seen by the moving observer. So general relativity leads us to conclude that for a moving frame, the observer in the moving frame sees light trace a curved path, while a stationary observer sees the light trace a straight line. The path traced by the light is curved because the frame was accelerating. In the case where the ship was moving at a constant velocity, this path, as seen by the observer in the ship, will be a straight line, tilted downwards because, this time, the ship is approaching the light beam at a constant rate. Rotating this frame 90 degrees yields this. So, the equivalence principle leads us to conclude that an observer in a spaceship moving at constant velocity will see a light trace an inclined path while a stationary observer will see the same light go through in a straight line. Now let's move on to spatial relativity. Let us take an observer in a car traveling at a constant velocity. The observer in the car shines a torch light vertically upwards as it passes an observer who is stationary relative to the road. According to spatial relativity, the observer on the road will see the light move through an inclined path while the observer in the car will see the light go straight up. If we rotate this frame 90 degrees, this is what we get. So spatial relativity leads us to conclude that for a frame moving at a constant velocity, the observer in that frame sees light trace a straight line, while a stationary observer sees the same light trace an inclined path. Notice that this second image is like that for general relativity where the ship was moving at a constant velocity. Before we move on, please 
Take a second to support this ch channel by clicking on that subscribe button to help us grow. If you find the video informative, then please like the video so that YouTube can show the video to more people. Thank you. According to general relativity, for a frame moving at constant velocity, we have this. Then according to spatial relativity, this. So, for general relativity, we can conclude that an observer in a moving frame, moving at a constant velocity, sees light go through an inclined path, while a stationary observer sees the light trace a straight line. While for spatial relativity, a moving observer sees the light go through a straight line, while the stationary observer sees a trace an inclined path. This is clearly a big contradiction of the two theories. So, what is this telling us? There are four possibilities. Four possible statements can be made, of which only one can be true. 1. Both spatial relativity and general relativity are correct. 2. Both spatial relativity and general relativity are wrong. 3. General relativity is correct and spatial relativity is wrong. And 4. Spatial relativity is correct and general relativity is wrong. Which of these statements is the correct one? Let's look at them one by one. First, spatial relativity and general relativity cannot both be correct because they contradict each other. So, this first statement is false. 2. Both of them could be wrong. So then, we will not have to deal with them contradicting each other. But that is not enough to conclude that the statement is true, so let's just skip it. Next, general relativity is correct and spatial relativity is wrong. This statement cannot be true because the formalism of general relativity incorporates spatial relativity. So, if spatial relativity is wrong, then general relativity has to be wrong. So, this statement is false. Next, spatial relativity is correct and general relativity is wrong. This statement could be a true statement since spatial relativity is independent of general relativity. If this was a multiple choice exam, I wouldn't choose this answer, especially because there have been a lot of proofs that spatial relativity is wrong. Let's take a look at one of them. The premise of spatial relativity is that Light travels exactly at the same speed, c, in any inertial reference frame. This is the second of Einstein's postulates, and it demands that the speed of light be equal to c. From the formalism of spatial relativity, we have this factor called the gamma factor, which is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, which appears in every relativity equation. A photon is a particle of light, and hence travels at the speed of light. This means that the gamma factor for the photon is infinity. This also means that the photon's energy is infinite. By the Lorentz length contraction formula, we see that all distances travelled by a photon shrink to zero, meaning a photon does not experience space. Therefore, wavelength is zero or the word wavelength itself becomes meaningless. Furthermore, according to Lorentz time dilation formula, time in the frame of reference of the photon is infinite with respect to the frame of reference of a stationary observer. Hence, frequency is zero for a photon. Since speed is equal to wavelength times frequency, it therefore means that the speed of light is equal to zero, yet another contradiction. Therefore, it is an intrinsic requirement of spatial relativity that light should not travel at the speed of light, which circularly entails that Einstein's second post, which is the pillar of spatial relativity, is wrong, and hence spatial relativity is wrong. This is just one of the many arguments placed against spatial relativity, so let's now go back to our multiple choice question. Since only one of these options can be correct, and there are too many problems with spatial relativity, we can therefore strike off this option. So now we are left only with the second option, which is both 
special relativity and general relativity are wrong. I know you might be saying, but general relativity has made so many predictions that have been tested to be correct. But don't also forget that it has also made predictions such as the Big Bang, which is very inconsistent with the observations of the James Webb Telescope, amongst other things. Do not also forget that the Rutherford model of the atom was correct in its predictions, but today it is not considered the correct model for the atom. So, simply because general relativity has made some correct predictions doesn't make it correct. I don't know about you, but in my opinion, both special relativity and general relativity are just scientific rhetoric, and neither of them is correct. Drop your comments respectfully below, and I will catch you in the next video on disproving the mu meson experiment to prove time dilation. Subscribe if you wish to follow for more content, if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching.